No, I want the paddles. Oh yeah, yeah, the the the, the yeah, paddles, take the, yeah. the rotating ones from the Intellivision. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> those things hurt more when you throw them at people. <laughs> and welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vince Stone, joined every week by Jordan Swang and Pedro Mateus. And together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic Calvinist Form, you know him, you love him. Two Kane Voltron Gentlemen. It's been an interesting week. We're going to be talking about uh, possibly getting some cheaper 4070s, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a shame if you just bought one. I'm just saying. Uh, before we get started, I just want to say uh, Control X. Cut. <laughs> Uh, frighteningly close because what I did, uh, I didn't say control X. I flubbed a line in a video I'm working on and I didn't want to cut everything on just to re record that one line. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're going to rob it from the beginning of this show tomorrow ah! and paste it in. Control over. X. Because I said control Y and I'm like, damn it. No, I'm not second. <laughs> no, no, what did I say? I said control Z. That's ah. what I said. I was like, motherfucker. Then I'm looking through the rest of like the six minutes. I was like, did I make anything that sounded like an X? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just Mr. Black. Right. Uh, <laughs> just have like complete, completely wrong tone too. It's just like five. Uh, <laughs> I, I could have done the, uh, like the little pop-up things. Like I meant to say, um, controls yeah. it. Yeah. But whatever. Oh, oh but, no, no! You, you use the TikTok robot lady voice. <laughs> X. Oh man. Uh, yeah. Control X. Control X is the right. Well, that's the right way to do it. So, uh, what have you been up to, Jordan? I, I saw you got you got a free TV. I, I have I have many updates. It's been it's been a bit of an eventful week. Yeah. So uh, we, we we do the extreme couponing here. We do we do the points gathering. Get a lot of um, buy, buy a lot of stuff we need at the grocery store when like it's on sale or like you get X amount of points back and like periodically they do a, like a oh you know if you spend like thirty thousand points we'll give you like a two hundred dollar gift card or whatever right uh so you know do, doing that and lo, long story short I got myself a free well I had to pay for the taxes sixty dollars for the taxes forty inch ten eighty p TV sitting up there right over there um. It's going to be the new head display for my uh, Nano Pi and the Steam Deck when I want to run it in a monitor mode. Uh, the other exciting thing that happened this week I found out is that a raccoon crawled under my deck and then died over the winter. And unfortunately, it is in like the most inaccessible corner of the deck. So we have to actually like cut up a bunch of the planks and like attempt to extract what I have what we have now discovered is like a gelatinous raccoon corpse. So that's going to be fun. You couldn't get like a, one of those uh, robotic pincher arms. So yeah, we were, lo- we were looking at, so we were looking at them and like the issue is to get one of those, like in there, we would need to take tear up more of the deck. So we're trying, we're trying to figure out like, can we do like the keyhole surgery version of this where we just remove like one plank and pull it out? No, I used to have a strategy for running ethernet cable if I had to run a bunch of stuff in an office over the acoustic tiles mm-hmm. and that was a crossbow with a string on it. Yeah. <sighs> Don't have much. That's Shoot the thing. The I'll, 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 I'll yeah. add it to the wish list. I can't afford a crossbow yet, but you know, it's, it's not, it's not a bad idea. You do like the grappling hook. Okay. Then to be perfectly <laughs> clear, this was not like a fucking haunting crossbow. This was a little handheld crossbow for okay. you could just, like, to shoot something, for, you know, <sighs> well, you know, if I, I feel like if I'm going to go out of my way to buy a, pro, a crossbow, I got to buy myself like a proper ass fucking crossbow. Dude, I love a proper engineering challenge. Uh, that's something I'm going to brain on. I'm like, how do you extract the raccoon? Right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like in, in the back corner, there's like the na- both both neighbors fences are just completely blocking it in. So there's no way there's no way to get you know what? I like e So uh, how about a, just a can of ants? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get some necrophage, rent a necrophage. Is there a rent a necrophage service? Sure. <laughs> rent, 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 rent a necromorph, just like dead space. <laughs> just turn you into a zombie. Yeah, yeah, we'll, 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 figure it, we'll figure it out, but this is just the latest episode of, like, Jordan and Lonnie versus nature. <laughs> Welcome to fucking really? Yeah. 
Huh. It, and it, it just decided, I'm going to die in the most inconvenient spot. <laughs> it's their Mario, problem now. Poor Mario. Uh, as usual, Pedro likes to keep things a mystery, so what's new with you? Mostly because nothing particularly special happened this week, right up until before the show. Because uh, Alien Fire Squad, Fire Team Elite, whatever it's called, um, it's free. It's the free weekend. So I played the first mission and after the first mission was done it was like oh i really like this so i bought the game okay i gotta ask That's you a real question because <laughs> i know because i played it it makes you do the dress up thing before you play the game mm -hmm. how long did you spend playing dress up not very long i just found the uh long-haired option and the glasses i and get away a man bun <laughs> no man bun just the actual like bob Long hair. Are, would, would, would you would you consider rocking the man bun? Then would you do the top knot? You know that isn't ridiculous. I'd rather have like fucking pigtails than I would a man bun. <laughs> I've you know what I've I've done both. Mm -hmm. Um, I will say the top knot is more a little more convenient than the pigtails. Although although people can't ride you and like pretend you're a motorcycle, <laughs> or you can't do it yourself and like. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Um, or pretend you got parachutes you're like pull the ripcord I'm guilty of um, like maybe not even a man bun but like, like if I'm fucking cleaning the house and shit like that I, I will do the like just tilt the head down you know assume the position and like tie that shit up above my head like that so it stays out of my fucking way I got, I got giant poof so I just turn into human pineapple it's great no. <laughs> Well, it's a damn shame. We're going to have to, like, shave the horse. <laughs> We're going to have to put pineapple on the horse. <laughs> Just, like, pineapple and horse pizza. It's our new favorite from LGC. It's the Steam! Let, let it Pineapple Gentlemen, um, Steam Decks, you can buy one now. It's pretty easy. You just uh, mm -hmm. go online, you know, and do the tippity tops in the, in the mail. Hopefully they don't send you an empty container without a Steam Deck. It's pretty simple, but, you know, fair point. Not everybody likes, even in this modern day of 2023, I, I can't hold up the rectangle. That's what I put. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, just pull it out like all the monsters. <laughs> Jordan <laughs> disappears. Yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> it, would be worth, it, would be, it would be worth it for the bit. It would. Yeah, it, 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 it would. It would. So. Maybe you want to go into a store and buy a Steam Deck, but we can't do that in North America quite yet. However, um, if you're hanging out uh, maybe in Japan, Osaka, it's going to be the first trial event for the Steam Deck, and it's going to be at, is it Edine? Edine? Um, Namba Main. Edian? Yes. Edian? Yeah. Decks and docks are going to be on the shelf starting April 29th. All the versions, all the variants of the Steam Deck that you can think of, uh, this is only going to be at one store. To begin with, uh, the main store to test the waters, but more Steam Deck retail partners in Japan will be revealed soon. So this is just like baby step with like one vendor to come out and like just try it out. And this makes perfect sense. Now, I'm unfamiliar, maybe Japan's not that big on like ordering online. I don't know these things uh, in modern day Japan, but all I want to know is like, when can we go to like Taco Bell drive through at two o'clock in the morning without a car? And get a Steam Deck thrown at us. Well, no, so you need a car, right? They they won't give it to you unless unless you come with a car. Like you know, the Steam Deck is more affordable than ever, but those car prices are going way the fuck up. No, but the, uh, so this this is this is good. It's good to see that um, more more uh, retail channels are opening up for the Steam Deck. Hopefully, it helps with the market penetration. This place is interesting though because they got two stores. They got. They got one in uh, they got one in Japan and they got one in Hawaii. So um, I guess maybe our, our first U.S. based retailer of the Steam Deck, you're gonna have to take a trip to Honolulu. Go on vacation, buy yourself a Steam Deck. There, you're not I mean, bored I mean, anymore. Hawaii. Oh, 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 I think this is a little more nefarious when you think about it, especially like the three ninety nine Steam Deck. Because I'm going, to, I was just thinking, like, what would it take? I'm like, well, if I was just in the store, I was walking by, I was like, oh, there's Steam Deck for three ninety nine. Like, yeah, do I buy it? Uh, or bring do you it. wait for like a clearance sale after they release the Steam Deck 2? And it's like, now it's only 300 or 200. Well, it's like, so, no, Pedro, uh, I'm uh, waiting uh, on the PC too. I was gonna, I was gonna bring it up. You joke about getting it at a Taco Bell, but like Taco Bell no, does no, give fuck away I Xbox. I do not. How dare you? 
They, they, they give away like Xboxes and Playstations all the fucking time. It's, the Taco it's Bell so, edition Steam Deck. Yeah. The, well, we were ta- joking in the pre-pre super shows and go back and listen to that if you're a patron about the Amazon <laughs> Basics Steam Deck. Again, yeah. I'd fucking buy those. Mm-hmm. Um, what does it come with? Like eight <laughs> bags? EMMC. Yeah, no, no. It's like the cheapest fucking plastic. Oh, yeah. And the battery isn't what? even connected. You need to, yeah, first yeah. thing you need to do is... Crack it open and plug in the battery. <laughs> the, the the board has like some Celeron processor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steam Deck in big old quotes. Oh man, no, no, no! It's like some um, Optiplex. This has got a ribbon cable running out to it with a monitor. Like the the uh, whoa, whoa, shit! What was the name of the thing that was originally going to be the OG Steam Deck? The Steam Boy, the Steam Pal, the Steam oh, yeah. Pal, Steam Pal, yeah. The thing that the, never the, the, the smock, the smock set. Yes. <laughs> Oh, remember Rem- re- remember when we were talking about that every other week because they're like it's totally mm-hmm. coming you guys oh jeez. Oh, r.i.p everybody who backed that uh a couple updates this week starting with proton counting to eight yeah uh, pretty big week for proton if you've been paying attention the mainstream media has been going uh well, not crazy, but they, 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 they've they given some coverage to Proton 8 due to the number of games that uh, show up in the now Mis- playable list. What about the mysterious games that were coming that turned out to be Jedi? Yeah. Uh, as uh, as yeah. it turns out, yeah, it's just Jedi Survivor. Like, as it turns was like, out. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> can we just stop this bullshit? He's like, yeah. it's fucking, it's the ginger jog kid. We've yeah, been doing serious. this for years, and I, I, just I, I so we're like, clear on it, it's Jedi Survivor. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Scroll, 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 scroll down, and it's Liam going, okay, thanks. Uh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, damn. There goes my clicks for the day. Proton 8.0, a bunch of new games in this, with Vulcan yeah. support. It's uh, Forspoken, Samurai Maiden, Dead Space, uh, the uh, remake, Neo 2, uh, the Atelier series, uh, including uh, Rorona, which uh, I will never forget uh, because uh, the the main character's name is uh, Rorolina Frixel. Gungrave is Uh actually pretty cool. I remember playing the original on the PS2. It's it's like a it's like a spectacle shooter. Yes, that's the only one that I'm really curious about. Yeah. Hey, they fixed alt tab not working in GNOME 43. So. Yeah, that's that's always good. Uh, Company Heroes 3 works with multiplayer, full screen support for Last Blade 2. Yeah, nothing nothing like crazy exciting here. It's just most mostly it's the Wine 8.0 update that this is just bringing this stuff into. I tried uh, it. I, I mean, it I, works. Yeah, the 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 multi touch support is interesting because like we got a shit ton of lazy mobile ports on the on Steam now. So like, yeah. you know, this guy has a touch screen. You can like <laughs> actually play your cell phone games on it now. Also, Valve, I was highly disappointed because I saw the announcement for um, Proton 8.0, and I had to wait like almost six minutes before it showed up in the repository for me to <laughs> download it. It was exhausting. You, mo- you monsters! I, was like, oh, I gotta get up and go do something. You know, it was like watching a torrent download. I'm like, just get up. Go do something quick. Then it finally popped up. It works. I didn't have any problems with it. I launched um two of the games. Uh, no, a couple of games. I have it working. I, I can tell you. I didn't run into any problems with all the track manias or uh, Turbo Golf or the Aliens game we were going to be playing in the after shows. And, or uh, what else? No, I think that was all I tried it on. I, I tried it in two games. The first one was Elden Ring. And the uh, easy anti-cheat window didn't even pop up. It would say that it was running, and then it immediately crashed. And then I tried with APB, and the launcher showed up, and it would crash while in the launcher. It's like, oh, mm. okay, so I think we're going back to Proton 7 then. <laughs> well, it uh, did work with the Aliens fire team, unlike the latest version of Proton Experimental. <laughs> Uh, Proton Experimental, I haven't used it for a while, but yes, big wine update, the rebasing for... Um, Wine 8 makes it so that uh, the new Proton Experimental has a bunch of new things, including a whole new stack of uh, playable games, like the new uh, Blood Rain remakes, remasters, whatever you want to call it, the Terminal Cuts. Uh, does it come with the, the Uva Bowl movies? Yeah. <laughs> you shut it doesn't. Up, you it, it, it should, but it doesn't, which is unfortunate. Uh, and uh, yeah, some of the stuff is still there um, from the previous uh, experimental revision. But yeah, no, there's a bunch of whole new games and they fixed the launcher for DC Universe. If that's the game that you're into, it's there. 
there's, uh, uh, yeah, there's it, a bunch of uh, video playback fixes as well for like mm-hmm. Wo- Wolong, Metal Gear Solid Five, Neo. So it's good to see that the the MF plot stuff is like. I, I, it was a huge pain point, like even a couple of years ago. So the fact that vanilla, mm-hmm. uh, vanilla Proton now is mm-hmm. able to uh, is able to do that out of the box is pretty great. And uh, the the one that I saw was like, oh, Pentiment. I actually want to try Pentiment. Uh, that game, the art style, something about it. I want to try it. I really uh, do. Do either of you like look through these and are like, oh, what's this game? What's this game? What's this game? And you end up. Yes, yeah, so some sometimes so, um, checks Quest HD or I mean I, I like I, I know what Warriors Orochi is. I'm vaguely aware of what the Atelier series is. We're very yeah. happy to report yeah. that they fixed Witcher Three launcher rendering. You know what would also fix a uh, launcher rendering issues, Valve? If you made developers get rid of them on Steam. Yes. Uh, but you gotta. Why, you know, why, why would you say something so controversial? Already gave us money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of new games to talk about this week. Uh, who had a Game Boy? Like OG Game Boy. OG. Yeah, I did. I did. Four double A's in the back. No yep. backlight. You had to fucking angle that shit in the car <laughs> if you were going oh, to fucking try to play it. Oh, you you had to be lucky that you were driving in a well lit enough area because sometimes mm-hmm. like the, if, oh, you, if, had to if you were in the, the wrong yeah. yeah if if you were in the wrong lane you just couldn't play like uh, you needed to you needed to be on like the left of the rightmost lane otherwise you're not I had a any Game Boy shit. Color and it was exactly the same <laughs> and you had the uh, Game Boy. Uh, zone tower of power with the magnification on the top mm-hmm. and the speakers that folded out and like i mean you could get crazy with it and i had one of those and i uh, had a good time with it so well, this kind of caught my eye and we're talking about wild dogs uh looks a whole lot like a game boy game which i think is a neat thing you know give me the right type of nostalgia give me a game boy game that plays because if you go back and play the original game boy games they were pretty bad but this is like look and you get to play some poppers too what mm-hmm. is it admit admit uh, uh, and missed. There we go. English chaos. Uh, the army. Uh, it's a uh, deadly smoke. Come on, that's not a good explanation. Join the war hunting aliens around the world. Uh, it's, it's Harambe. They brought him back to life <laughs> as a boss fight. <laughs> you get a poppers. Uh, okay. If I had to describe this, I would do, like really advanced. For, you get to fight Gundam. Bichon, um, wild dogs, and uh, maybe Contra. Like think contra, yeah, very yeah. contra. Like the I, shooting I, I, sections, I get, very contra. I get like a B- Bionic Commando for the Game Boy Color vibes from that. I played a lot of that game. Oh, and um, it looks like it's got like the different uh, old school like Game Boy Color when it was uh, doing yeah. the colorization mm-hmm. of like originally like the green gray yeah, shade yeah, yeah. that you could yeah, do no, the key combination to change between the color palettes. But gentlemen, oh, yeah. most importantly, Linux it's demo got a demo. Yeah, right. Yeah, Look at that. You don't, but and like it's pretty reasonably priced too at like uh what eight ninety nine nine ninety nine ten bucks for a Game Boy game, like yeah um it's it's, it's a, it, well I mean it's, it's a little steep. It's a, well it's refreshing to see it's only two hundred megs it's not like yeah. thirty gigs yeah <laughs> I I wonder I wonder if you could get something like this like this running actually on a Game Boy Color that would be like an interesting technical challenge no because I know there was done. like a like uh what wonder boy came with the the remake came with a version that you can like load on an actual genesis right? i was impressed with like celeste they made one for like that one bit uh pico the, the, the pico yeah the pico or whatever eight. yeah they did like a d make of it and it was pretty good because you could play that game inside of celeste yep <laughs> that's where i played it too yeah. i was like that's a playable game that was very well put together so always good to see Bond. And big thank you to the uh the devs of uh, wild dogs because i shot them an email because i thought that looked pretty good and uh, they sent us some keys. They sent us some keys on Curator Connect, and then they sent us an email with three more keys. It's like, thank you. And but I told I mean, Pedro to be a yeah. gentleman and send back the spider. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, 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 had to, we had to explain to Pedro what the spider was. That yeah. was. Yeah, no, I didn't know about the spider one. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, got, got, got to go back and watch the pre pre super shows one to get your early late, late aughts meme yeah, uh, ben, education. Some of that classic internet history. <laughs> Ah, uh, man, speaking of internet history. Oh, yeah. You know, bat, you know, for, for the people who just want to remain as edgy 13-year-olds well into their 40s, we got Postal. Uh, the Postal series is now deck certified. Uh, you, can, you too can now piss on the go. The 20th anniversary update has, um, this, is, this is update 5100. They added a bunch of stuff. They added the um, OG voice of Claptrap to be not Claptrap in this. Uh, there's some, uh, one, one nice thing is for the weapon selector, there's like memory to it. So like when you're scrolling through, it will remember the last weapon that you had selected in like the assault rifle category or the shot gun category. So you're more likely to get the thing that you are actually looking for. Also a cat silencer. 
And going through the fixed bugs, like, wow, this game was fucking busted. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm glad to see they're actually like attempting to fix it. <laughs> I bet it's me. Yeah, no, at, at the best of time, Postal 2 was a jank fest. I'm very, very happy to see it fixed. I could never finish it. I think the furthest I got was like Wednesday because each day is like is each a, is a mission. Level, yeah. yeah, it's is one day of the week. And Holy I, hell, you're not kidding with the fixes, yo. Yeah, yeah like, let's, let's just watch. <laughs> let's just keep going. Let's just, we're not done yet. No, no, no. Hold your breath. Hold so your breath. Here it comes. Many. <laughs> and if, if, if you read some of them, it's just like, how did this pass QA? Like, how, did, how has that been there for? How long has this game been out? 13 years? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, man. Closed one fix. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. 11 years. Sorry, not 13. 11 years. That, that's, that's still pretty fucking inexcusable for some of these bugs. <laughs> uh, it's been around for a while. Uh, yeah, I've just played like when it first came to Linux. And I'm um, like, yeah, I play around with it for a bit. I was never like huge into Postal 1 or 2. Nothing against it. I mean, it was, it was a silly, over-the-top comedy game yeah. of its day, right? It, 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 it was it was really just there to like piss off like the the what was it the Jack Thompsons of the era mm-hmm. yeah like oh no the video games controversy are, as much as they can <laughs> yeah you can pee on things oh no it's gonna make people pee on things in real life you can yeah you can uh, light people on fire and then pee on them to to, right. uh, to put it out <laughs> it was its own thing Pedro you snuck in another Salt and Sanctuary update is this one good. I did uh, actually this one is a proper update not just you know the occasional SDL fix. Uh, to get the Linux version working again. Thank you, by the way. Uh, but yeah, no, this one is just to tide us over for uh, until Salt and Sacrifice finishes oh, the you can, you can finally the, game's, the game is finally playable, everybody. You can hide Helmet. <laughs> you can check it. <laughs> yes. But, but, but previously, you could check out every time, anytime you want, but you could never leave. Now you can mm-hmm. leave. And the, the, the big one here is it comes with enhanced mode, which is basically bit of an overhaul to the combat and the weapon crafting and how weapons scale. Like if you have a weapon that scales with both strength and dexterity, now the uh, the soft caps are lower, which means you're less likely to four shot bosses like I was doing <laughs> uh, when I did the uh, the stream of um, Salt and Sanctuary and I went through all the bosses on that stream and some of them, yeah, they died very quickly because I was massively over leveled and I knew where everything was. So that it, it, it's effectively a way to get people who are, had already finished the game and already know everything to give it a, another shot. I don't know. I just want a sequel to The Vampire Smile. Yeah, d- Dishwasher or uh, Char- yeah. Charlie Murder 2. Charlie Murder was also really fun. I, yeah. The, 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 these guys are just like, uh, like a, they're, they're a duo, right? Like it's a, it's a game dev yeah, and uh, an artist. Uh, brother and sister, I think. Yeah. Um, James Da Silva and uh, Michelle Da Silva. Yeah. <laughs> And they got they, their own they, they, art they put out good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And uh oh man, somebody uh, we've all been jumping at the bits for this. Oh uh, oh yes. I, I, I took this one because I saw that this was conspicuously empty in the show notes. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm taking this bullet. So Dota 2 has an update for those of you who actually <laughs> care about Dota. I certainly don't. But New Frontiers is out. They are uh, doing a pretty big shakeup of gameplay features. Uh, they added a bunch of new heroes. Um, there's uh, the, the, the the they do this thing in the release notes where they try to be a little irreverent in in the in the actual explanations of stuff, and it kind of comes off as cringe because like, <laughs> oh, you know, I'm reading this thing ostensibly. I want to know how you're fucking with my game so that I can like rebalance my builds or something. There, yeah. So I I, I don't know. Uh, anyways. Uh, one of the one of the bigger changes that's happening is a change to the matchmaking algorithm called Glico, uh, and it uses and manipulates rank confidence as a player stat to better match you with other people. Basically, like your rank confidence will drop um, less time the less you play, and will um, increase the more you play. Uh, and it will try to like match people with like appropriate rank confidences together beyond a certain threshold. Also, apparently, if you get into the upper echelons, there's like some kind of player drafting situation. I don't know. But the rest of the the rest of this article is all a bunch of notes that will make you mad if you're someone who plays and hears about Dota because it's probably messing with the balance and fucking up your perfect build or making someone else's build crazy overpowered and now you're going to be extra salty about it. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. What do you oh, think like Valve is control, like, so- control F Linux turn return nothing. So, yeah. 
you can kind of do anything you want when you get a free to play MOBA, though. You think Valve's like, yeah, go wild. Like, what are they going to do? Ask for a refund? Uh, mm. <laughs> well, there are a bunch of microtransactions, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what the cheating is like in Dota. Is that a problem? Send us an email or like, leave us a comment. <laughs> like, I know nothing about that, and I'm not going to research. I'm sure the first result is like on GitHub is like GitHub Dota cheat. Do, 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 cheat. Yeah, well, we we did that with. Well, we're we're going to talk Roblox. about it a little bit later, yeah. but Roblox earlier, it's just like Roblox cheats. Oh. Stay tuned for that. Indeed, coming up next. Oh my God, the 4070 is almost affordable these days. Get out and buy 12, you guys. The news! Yes, it's time that we uh, put the games to one side and talk about more games or gaming-adjacent things. Uh, it is the proverbial milk gravy in this pig brain soup that we're cooking tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you should watch a live version one of these days. <laughs> or, or like some kind of scrambled egg dish. Or I, listen, man, I was struck. I was looking at Yanni, Yanni album cover art. Were you, were you mystified by his mustache? Just like a little bit. Yeah, I, I just want to. I just want to go on a mustache ride. Oh shit! <laughs> he, here's some trivia. He went mustacheless in his 2011 album Truth. Of, I'm not shitting you. I'm looking at it right now. Like I'm legitimately in the background, like Truth, at truth of Touch. Covers. Yeah. Oh, and voices in 2009. There you yeah, go. Yeah, uh, sen sensuous chill as well. Yeah, a little bit. Up. Oh man, I, I, I wish I had Yanni facial hair. If you want to pay for our mustachectomies to like give us giant, sexy Burt Reynolds Yanni mustaches, head on over to Patreon.com. Mustache transplants for all. Yeah, that. Every, everyone needs it. I, I'm suffering, suffering without my mustache. Uh, head on over to Patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Sign up. You get access to a bunch of stuff like our Discord channel. Uh, which you can listen to the pre pre super shows in, you know, we've mentioned a few times where we talk about uh all sorts of crap Road and our removal. brain immediately shuts off everything like we were even like we we remembered what we were talking about in the pre-pre super shows and at the beginning of this show and that and now it's yeah. gone yeah, yeah it's gone we, 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 <laughs> we we've had an entire it, yeah. segment of that to, to just wipe that from our brains so if you want to find out get into the, our discord um listen to the pre-pre super shows and, and you can find out for yourself you can also get in by subbing to us on twitch twitch.tv slash linux gamecast we gotta thank some people uh who signed up uh we gotta thank eshep Eshep's an OG man. We uh, oh, yeah. he's been around from the from the very very early years. We finally peer pressured him into getting a Patreon uh, subscription, so he's in here now. I mean, it Hi, just warms my heart when like your first uh, message in Discord was like, "Y'all motherfuckers win." God damn. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> listen, it, it it took us ten years of working him, but he finally caved. Uh, we got we got to thank Don M for uh, subbing to us on Twitch for thirty months, and we got to thank Aromatic Dev for sending uh, five gift subs out to the lovely people. Uh, you want rough. more? Yep. If you want to support us some more, we got a store, store.linuxgamecast.com. You can buy sure. some uh, store. Give me store. store. Yeah. No, no. Lovely merch. Ah, look at that. Yeah. Uh, we, we're, we're, we're bringing a lawsuit to best foods because we think we have, we have a, we have a good <laughs> shot at winning you guys. So, uh, you know, you know, buy, buy some hell Oaks t-shirts to fund our lawsuit. <laughs> we got, we got uh, wish zones as well. Head on over to linuxgamecast.com. Put your mouse over the support button. Then has one. Pedro has one. Jill has one. I have one. If you buy us stuff off there, you can send us some notes. We'll read them for you live. What are you looking at? Buy? What, what would be like your wish list thing? If you got like a knock, knock, hello, it's Amazon duck. And it's not the raccoon that has been zombified. <laughs> <laughs> it's still, it's still going to be the raccoon. Let's okay, be real. Hang on. Hang on. Would you just call it even if like I got the raccoon for you? <laughs> probably yeah. yeah amazon person check yeah i, I pulled the yeah, raccoon yeah, yeah, out yeah, you're good you, you know the, the 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 poor fucking dude who's making minimum wage driving a rental truck around to drop off amazon back so i'm like yo i need you to tear up some fucking planks in my deck he's like all right that's fine i'm, I'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna take your package though <laughs> yeah he's just like yeah I, I i ordered a food processor it's yours if you do this for me Hey, we do thank you for your support. If you get anything from our uh, Amazon wish zones, you can send us a note. That's a bad idea. We do it. We'll read off whatever you put on it. Uh, we all got different types of things. I got one for the studio. That's how you end up back here on the wall of shame. However, uh, come hang out with us on Tuesdays and Fridays where we do track mania. If you're looking for a group of people to hang out with, we're there. Physics, puzzles. Jordan, you were still cutting through. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're still, we're still yeah, booping through Strange Brigade. Uh, I don't know how far we are in that game, but we did just get started. We've been doing it for like two, three weeks now. So, mm. And if uh, you can, I want you to come watch the live show because tonight 
We're going to be playing uh, the free weekend on two different games. So we've got uh, Turbo Golf. We're going to be doing that. And uh, the Aliens, uh, not Colonial Marines. Fi- uh, Fire, Fire Team, Team Elite. Elite. Fire Team, yeah. Oh, uh, one, <laughs> one thing I want to bring up about Stranger Brigade, though. We found out this week, can't jump in the middle of a match. So if you want to play with us, got to show up on time. I, I was reading about that. Somebody was just like, hey, baby, let me just slip my wall. Yeah. <laughs> like, if, 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 if we could let people in in the middle of the game, we, we would, but mm-hmm. we can't. So... What would be the time, and how would they uh, schedule that with you? Well, if you're in our Discord, you can see the uh, the event that we set up. But that generally happens at 7:30 uh, on Thursdays, uh, Eastern Standard Time. At Discord, mm-hmm. uh, we do we usually get in at about 7:15 just to do a sound check and get our shit together. So yeah, some try to aim for around that time. All right, I think that's that's probably your best bet. Now let's go buy. Let's all go buy forty seventies. <laughs> Good news, everybody! Nvidia reportedly limiting production of GeForce RTX forty seventy GPUs due to poor sales. This comes courtesy of WCCF Tech. You know him, you love him. Nvidia's recently launched forty seven graphics card doesn't seem to be doing well in terms of sales globally. Aww. To which, uh, you know, if you listened to our show last week, uh, we would deliver a collective like you don't say. <laughs> um, play playing my world's smallest violin here man like yeah uh, no at that price i don't think anyone's running out in any kind of hurry to get one except scott scott did <laughs> you know what go back and listen Scott's to our special, pre- yeah uh, scott actually you know we 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 grandfathered him in it where you could buy one it was fun but <laughs> you got to think about this i mean the 4070 it launched 600 bucks 599 the 3070 launched at 499 which all of a sudden as soon as you hear that number you're like yeah 499 then you need to get something. Maybe I'm going to maybe know on that five ninety nine. That's a hundred dollars uh, more. And that's what we're seeing from retailers, even going as far as to offer a $100 steam gift card with your purchase, because Nvidia has got this little thing called, you can only sell them for this little, mm-hmm. you can't, you know, most you favorite edition. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Nvidia will treat you horribly bad if you undersell something. So they're trying to find any way to get people to buy the $600 card. And um, hundred off, hundred dollars off retail. That might get some units moving, but um, Nvidia can. You know, it's like I don't think Nvidia is ever going to drop the price by a hundred dollars because we all know damn well that's what they plan on charging for the eight gig forty sixty Ti. Six, like, <laughs> probably the six gig forty sixty Ti. Let's be real. <laughs> no, the forty sixty is only going to be six gig. <laughs> so we're going to see how this flies because you know, reportedly the. Rumor, rumor itself is they're only going to reduce supply of the chip for like one month, try to dry it up out of the sales channel. But these cards are just sitting on shelves, man. Nobody looked at the 3070 unless you were in a very particular situation and went, yeah. And even then you didn't go, Ooh, you went, eh, all right. You, you, like, you, you, you relented. To, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like, I, I'm, I'm calling out on all you listeners because, you know, we, we have such sway on the market, us here at Linux Gamecast with our millions of adoring fan. Don't buy these cards. Let 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 Nvidia suffer some more. Maybe that'll encourage them to actually drop the price to something that regular people can afford. I know I know it's wishful thinking, but like, don't give them money. Just don't. They don't need it. I completely yeah. agree with you, Jordan. Also, there's one on my wish list, and you'll be my new best friend if you get one. Um, <laughs> disclaimer, asterisk. So. Uh, yeah, well, well, yeah. Listen, we can be bought. We've we've been oh, we've been hundred percent clear. You can buy and sell price, us baby. for remarkably um, cheap. That's why we have wish lists. <laughs> How smart does EVGA look now? Yeah, you got to think. Positively when, prescient. When EVGA was like, <laughs> we're we're getting out of this video card market, and I think EVGA quit nvidia and amd just so they would have that wiggle room if they ever wanted to get back in they mm-hmm. weren't burning bridges mm-hmm. but I, it just seems like evga was smart it was like nvidia is gonna pull this bullshit like there's the 40 series has been not a shit show but i mean it's like uh, they're not flying off shelves man because one thing the past couple of years has taught us is like how to wait like i can wait this thing out i can wait until this thing's at least a hundred dollars less <laughs> or or wait until one shows up used and you can yeah grab it then that, that's what i did that's how i got the 6700 uh, yeah it... <laughs> yeah uh, at, at this point at this point we've kind of uh we i i hope that they realize that we've kind of hit the, the the cap for what people are willing to like realistically pay for a video card if they're not like super fucking desperate 
As, yeah. as, as, especially because like the, the gains of like generation to generation aren't that They're monumental. Really bad. Yeah, like yeah. like sure sure my 1080 Ti is on par with the 3050 now, but like <laughs> still not much I can't really realistically not do with it. It's uh and like what's the big sell? What's the big sell? DLSS three. I'm like that, that's neat and ray tracing. I'm like come on, like yeah, that, <laughs> that's cool to play with. But the big one is the LSS. The, it's the ability to crank up the graphs, uh, the graphics you, to um max. If, if you're uh, if you're a streamer, then uh, NV Inc as well. But you're getting the same NV Inc that was on the 30 series. So like, where, no, you're not. No, it's the no. it's the new one. New one. That's uh, right. This one has the AV1 support, right? This one's got AV1. It's got dual NV Inc and then dual AV1 encoders. So for me, I'm like, gets what I want to play with, but like, the longest not for oh, that price. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I, it's interesting to see, like, you know, even at six hundred dollars, it's cheaper just to go buy a fucking console, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, the, or, yeah, or, or and uh, Valve did a very good thing putting out the Steam Deck when they did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you you can buy an entire Steam Deck for four hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and you can you can be the cozy playing things. Games. Yeah, the entire thing that will play your games for less than a graphics card. You can buy a Steam Deck and a TV. From the supermarket and pay taxes on it, and still spend less. still be under, yeah. No. Yeah, you, 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 you do got to do some extreme couponing, though. But okay. yes, dude, so, that was so many sausages, so so many points you do on sale sausages. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear, it was something like thirty thousand points just on sausages alone. That's a lot of sausages. So many yeah. sausages, Daddy. Would you like some sausages? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I would. I also, it came with the TV. <laughs> we don't talk about roblox enough on this show we don't um that's because uh it's not really a thing that natively supports linux although there are a couple ways of getting it running on linux well not anymore anyways yeah so uh this got posted on reddit uh i there's a child in the house who no longer plays roblox because they're stuck in the paradox interactive rabbit hole of alternate history but they were playing roblox quite a bit um and i saw this pop up um, apparently the latest update has introduced a new, uh, anti-cheat called Byron, um, which is now blocking, uh, wine. And, uh, there, there was some theories they asked, oh, is this unintentional? Did you guys, uh, do this by accident? And a Roblox person came back and they're like, yeah, no, uh, we're concerned about cheating and security. Uh, the actual quote they gave is kind of hilarious because it's like, as a Linux user, I am sure you understand the challenges of the Windows ecosystem. Uh, they go on to say that Wine is not sufficiently supported. They're committed, quote unquote, to working to uh, compatibility wherever possible, but they cannot tell you about a specific time frame, which means that's not going to fucking happen. Uh, yeah, it's same old song and dance about anti-cheat and security and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Every, every time they bring that up, I'm like, you, you profit from child labor, Roblox. Don't don't try to talk about what's good for the people. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I, I mean, it, it sucks, right? This is just another situation where ain't some some poorly implemented anti cheat comes in and pisses on our Cheerios and stops legitimate players from attempting to play a game. I know Roblox is free to play, but like you buy stuff in there, you can spend money in there, and being locked out from that is kind of shitty. Yeah, and uh, the the developers, uh, the people have been rightly pointing out if you can detect that the game is running via Wine. Why aren't you filtering out the logs of people who are running wine and just not looking at those if that's your excuse? But that's of more course, work than what they're doing right now, Pedro. Yes. <laughs> well, so, they haven't, they haven't uh, yeah. got some child to do it for them. That's, that's the problem. Yes. <laughs> they are taking advantage of bad parenting. That's the fullest yep. extent. Yeah, the, the yeah, just you know, instead of giving people, uh, instead of giving the the children the tablet to watch YouTube for kids, and uh, Elsa uh, being Elsa made pregnant, pregnant Spider -Man. by Spider Man, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you thought LGC made no sense. Go watch some shit on YouTube for kids, man. Uh, YouTube kids is just weird. <laughs> Wait, do you mean I shouldn't say this is made for kids every week on the? <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> we we did have the sock puppets that one time. We could bring those back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of bringing shit back. Oh yeah, they they, they bought a lot of their old um, IP. Who's they? Atari. <laughs> uh, yeah, no the uh, the the new Atari. You may remember those people as being called Infogrames oh, back see. in the day. 
they've gone back and bought, well, quite a few or most of the old Infogrames um, games along with a, a few others uh, that were in... in Infogames Grims? Yes, if it were right. But yeah, no, they bought a bunch of like a hundred ish retro uh ips and this along with the whole buying night dive that we talked about a few weeks ago may very well imply that they're renewing their push into the gaming side of things do you you know what scares me more than anything else huh what Mm -hmm. you just said sounds like the fuckers got a plan yes yes they do Uh, now, uh, the, the uh, article from Games Radar has Bubsy right there, uh, front and center. Uh, I'm on to you. Uh, I don't the, even know uh, what Bubsy is, but like, I was like, I, I understood that reference, but I don't know what it, I've never played Bubsy. Yeah, <laughs> v- very few people have actually played Bubsy because Bubsy, it's a terrible fucking game. Yes, it's, it's a good <laughs> thing that you haven't played Bubsy. <laughs> Yeah, but there, yeah, there, no, there's, maybe there's they a, just need reason. some new IP for the uh, the slot machines in their hotels. Listen, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm holding out for our Grimdark Bubsy remake. Mm. When When is this happening, Atari? <laughs> Night Dive, come on. I want, like, System Shock remastered, but it's just Bubsy, Bubsy instead of Shodan. Yes. Uh, so what uh, are we talking about? Uh, classic titles. Uh, let's see. Oh, Flight Sims, like 1942, F-117A, F-14. <laughs> yeah, Hardball. Demolition Racer? What's Demolition Racer? I think it's just Demolition Derby, no? I don't know. I'm not. I'm, I'm going to Google but, it. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Like, it, they, they might. PlayStation. They might have a plan in terms of like trying to resurrect a bunch of like their old IP, but it really does kind of feel like they're grasping at straws. They're like, we have. There's a bunch of shit that we could just yoink the rights to, and you know, maybe something good will come out of it. And I really do hope that like something interesting comes out of it. I like. Yeah, we're 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 we're, we're kind of starved for like novelty. You Even heard if, it here. Jordan yeah. has predicted the Atari deck. Oh yeah, no, they're, I mean, they're, they're just going to release the VCS. Yeah, they're just going to take the VCS and like duct tape a Game Boy screen to it, like, or like a pie display. It's going to be portable. Oh, yes, like the the portable. original Shield. It's just the controller with a little flippy screen. No, you can just imagine Atari's like, hey, y'all bitches seen the links, bitch? We invented the Steam Deck. Yeah. No, I, I I want I want a mobile console with like the classic Atari like joystick. Oh, two full size ones on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I want the paddles. Oh yeah, yeah, the the the, the yeah, paddles, the, the yeah. rotating ones from the Intellivision. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those things hurt more when you throw them at people. Oh yeah. Well, they're they're, they're sharp and pointy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, okay. may, 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 maybe we can use some ray tracing to shine a light on our next Ray tracing story. is the coolest technology. Uh, I don't care what you say, but if you enable the ray tracing, and you might as well <laughs> just take a screenshot, because that's how fast your shit moves when you enable it. Mm-hmm. And you really squint, and you make cross your fingers, and you wish really hard, you can tell that that shit's going on. Can you tell I'm not a huge fan of ray tracing? Uh, not for the performance hit, but rasterization, but... There's been an update to the open source Quake 2 RTX 170 update. The one I wanted, I was like, all right, some of this stuff is going to be fun and all that. But uh, they've added a bind key for the fucking flashlight. I'm like, really? You need to make this thing slower. Make it easier to get that fucking flashlight. Maybe you do. I tried it again. Have you either of you uh, even attempted to play uh, Quake 2 RTX? I get when like, like I got the 6700, I, I went to check, and yeah, now 1080p with everything on low, I was getting a solid 25 frames. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I was planning on trying when I bought a new video card, but that's uh-huh. not happening anytime soon. Well, I mean, it does work, and then this one's not, I mean, this thing's, I believe it's like fully path traced. So, I mean, it's it hits hard. Performance has gotten better over the years, though. This has been over maybe two or three years. Uh, it could have been out for a decade, for all I know, the way I can understand time at this point. But on the 3060 12 gig uh, LHR, I was able to get uh, around 60, like 60 to 70 at 40% resolution scaling. So there's, that's good. But by the time you're down to uh, like, I'm on a 43 inch monitor at 40% resolution scaling. Uh, it's, it's looking very artistic. Well, lit. <laughs> that's like 1600 by 900 <laughs> native. <laughs> well, lit, uh, but it's not that. Not that impressive for me, mm. but holy hell, man! If you want to make your uh, 3060 scream as loud as possible without having to go into the Nvidia utilities and cutting the fans on the full, done. That'll do it. 
I mean, instantaneously, as soon as the game starts, it just goes, it's like there's like an if statement somewhere in that driver. Are they path tracing the intro video? <laughs> it, it just immediately just goes flat out. It's loud, bro. Uh, so yeah, there's an update. You got a flashlight button. Go play with it. Yeah. Up next. And uh, speaking of things you can play with, the alpaca. Well, you kind of have to build it yourself first. But you may uh, remember the review. Thank you very much, uh, Input Labs, for sending us the review unit right here. It's usually the first controller I pick up when uh, testing to see if the game we're throwing chairs at uh, supports the controller at all, but usually end up playing with the DualShock, as the case may be. Now, they've been working on alternative ways of providing input using the alpaca and the gyro and a couple of other things. So they've effectively introduced two of the ways that, of all the experiments they've been going through, uh, they've decided on two to actually introduce as a part of the new firmware beta. One of them is a um, glyph, uh, at a, like a glyph wheel that you use with the analog stick. You basically wiggle the analog stick in a certain, certain pattern, and it outputs a letter. Uh, yeah, there's also it, it, it kind of reminds me a bit of the like old Palm Pilot writing where you had to like have the special characters for like N and H and stuff. But mm-hmm. yeah, um, that oh, was cool. down I'm, to listen, uh, I, section I'm four. Straight up fucking <laughs> learning shit to make shit look better than it is. I I know this trick now. Put that shit next to a fucking Nokia thirty two ten keypad and be like, see how much better this is. Yeah, it's just like it's it's and just a cyber- old text typing. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, better. it's it. You get a screenshot of Cyberpunk next to it, and right next to it is a Nokia keypad. It's like, <laughs> look how much better this is. Right. I'm going to use this. Yeah, if you scroll down to section four, they actually have the the pictures of what they're using. That's the... Um, daisy wheel. Yeah, the daisy wheel. Uh, that That's one of the options. And the, the one below it, below those two, is the um, the glyph input, which is... A lot of people on their oh, Discord fuck were like, you "All that should say, ice to meet you. Get wrecked." <laughs> uh, the a lot of people on their Discord were saying that the um, the wiggling of the analog stick for the glyphs is it, it clicked almost immediately because it the movements are very similar to the ones you would do with a pen if you were attempting to write down that letter. So it just tickles that particular side of your brain just well enough that if you while you're holding down the thing, you just do the glyphs. It apparently clicks. It didn't for me, but uh, yeah, the, no, uh, my brain is weird. <laughs> the 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 uh, the article was also uh, like a really really cool deep dive into just like what goes into like creating a like an interface for these things and like some of the some of the considerations you need to make. It's not stuff you like usually think about. It's a lot of stuff that you generally take for granted. But, you know, when, when, when you're dealing with, like, a new input method, you really mm-hmm. have to, like, re- you really have to go back to basics and really challenge a lot of, like, the core assumptions of how you interact with the system. Uh, the daisy wheel, though, I just want to say it's just fucking cracktastic. I would not want to have to type on that thing. That looks miserable as fuck. I will take the glyph over that, even though I will be trying to write a fucking J for 20 minutes. The only thing I can add to this is, like, why are we pretending on-screen keyboards don't work? <laughs> Yeah, they, the, they, the, the Steam they, Deck they and the do. Steam Controller before it, they kind of proved that they do. Now, you want the best <laughs> of both worlds, so what you do is you take, like, a PS4 controller and you have this little, little touchy thing in here and add, make that shit swipe, like, on a fucking Android and you're done. Problem solved. I, Next. Th- like, the, the, the two thumb uh, yeah, swiping f- that the f- Steam f- Controller f- joysticks, did. Put a little fucking touchpad <laughs> on it. Those things aren't expensive. Make a little swipe I- control. Yeah, you still you still need to have like an on-screen keyboard. They they had another one in their in their talk up or their write up as well. Where the reason the on-screen gyros keyboard too. works is because we all know what a fucking keyboard looks like, and we can visualize that when mm-hmm. it shows up. It's not like moon glyphs and shit everywhere. No, yeah, I mean they're <laughs> they're I mean it's just exploring other alternative methods of input, right? Like yeah, oh, this, I mean this it's a fun has hobby. no yeah, GUI still... to it. This is yeah. all done in firmware. The 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 yeah. visual representations are just there to help people. Okay, the these the. the this is where the letters are. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I, I think it's worthwhile. Like, yeah, on-screen keyboards work in a pinch. Uh, for and a lot of games like don't Perfectly really require. Pinch. 
Yeah, like on, <laughs> like most games don't require you to like input large bodies of text. It's usually like enter your name or something. Yeah, at most. just the name. Yeah, <laughs> but like it 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 opens it opens it up for like other other modes of input. That's just interesting. It's, it's interesting to me at least. I don't know. Yeah, the Got developers a uh, little bit of a <laughs> trivia. The uh, one of the developers was saying, yeah, uh, after a lot a lot of practice with the glyph typing, it could get 110 characters per minute. So there's your benchmark. What if I threw it down some stairs? <laughs> no, actually gun. writing a what, sentence. No, what, 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 what if you're falling down a stair? Can you, can you, can you like, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, if you're, if you're actually like falling down stairs, how, how well can you type? Please help me. I'm falling down a flight of stairs. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we got, we got one more thing we got to talk about and it's an open source game. It's from key Q fi, not Kiwi fi. I keep misreading that poop shoot. Poop shoot. Yep. Uh, uh, keep might as well speaking. just rename the project, bro. Yeah. Might, might as well just rename it poop shoot. It is a vaporwave synth wave. Um, it's kind of like defender. Um, it's a shoot 'em up done purely in JavaScript. Uh, which so it's always nice. Um, they are uh, they are soliciting improvements though. If you are looking for an open source project to contribute to, we always like to shout these out because there's always aspiring game devs or people who just want to like pick up a hobby project and um, have it, working on an existing thing is a great way to start. Uh, the help they're soliciting is uh, they need uh, help with collision detection and enemy spawning. Those are two. Um, those are two issues that are like currently either non-performant or a little janky at the moment. That's just, it's neat. You can you. It's that one vaporwave image that like you that won't fucking die. Dude, it was I spawned did. in like, the eighties. I like almost did it because here's one of the issues. Like I, I'd say Linux with a Chrome or Chromium, whichever one of the Chrome yeah. variants I'm using right now. If you launch it, it goes immediately full screen. Mm. That's bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you, don't, you don't want that. Maybe mm. maybe fix that. Yeah, maybe take a look at that. Uh, I'm surprised to see you know there's some issues, but there's already two pull two pull request. Done. Love to see it. All this is going to be in our show notes. So go check that out at linuxgamecast.com. Yes, indeed. Coming up next. Well, hold on. I got to check the random number generator. That that looks like you're rolling some dice. Yeah, I I did. I rolled a three. So that means I die. So you die. Coming up next. uh, We're throwing chairs at balls of a lemon die. Welcome back to the Chairquisition, where we take a game and then we run it on a bunch of different Linux distributions with some different hardware and then we die. And then we respawn and we try it again. And hopefully this time we'll get some more food. Uh, this week we're taking a look at Balzabub, done by Oshikuru.com, done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about five bucks. What is it? Make your way out of the levels of the randomly generated Infernal Dungeon. Get keys, food, weapons, and other items from dead monsters, overcome bosses, and escape that horror. Try to beat the high score in the Global Hall of Fame. We gotta thank Oshikaru for sending us some keys via Curator Connect. We're gonna give you, we're gonna go over this game, give you a final score based on lawn chairs. One chair means that it's crap. Four chairs deep means that it's amazing. So uh, let's let's get into that. Ven, you oh, love right. roguelikes, right? <laughs> your favorite genre. You know what? This is probably the reason I didn't have so much seething rage for it as you two. Um, <laughs> stay tuned. Over here, man. Uh, it launched it launches out of the box, no problem on Debian testing. Thread Rubber 1920x, all the RAM. With a 3060, it's a pixel game. I mean, fucking come on. Xbox One controller makes with working right out of the box, but it's not really an option to play the game unless you genuinely hate yourself. Full screen, that's all you get unless you want to break out the um, game scope. No way to rebind controls. That was kind of disappointing. And it's got sounds that go beep and boop, and it's got a like a background track on loop effectively, at least in Purgatory, for which I was forever banished to. And the pixel art, it manages a good job. It pixels. Um, let's talk about fun. This is where it gets a little bit squirrely, because I was curious to see what Pedro and uh, Jordan had to say about it after I got done writing my review, and because it seems like I died a lot, like a lot, a lot. And my last run started with like, a sword and some boots in the first two rooms. I thought I was doing good, dude. This thing was like being very like extra generous with health drops, and I was able to explore just a bit. Uh, I thought I was getting out of purgatory. I killed a lot of baddies, and then I walked over this magical invisible teleport bullshit thing that just like farted me out halfway across the dungeon. I'm like, God damn it, fine. I was completely undeterred. I was going to get through this. I was going to soldier my way through, and uh, even found like an amulet and some like, I think it was like black Russian booze or something. I was like, fuck it, I'll drink it. And then I walked over this other invisible thing or whatever. Come to find out, spoilers, I was over encumbered. 
but it drained one stamina for every move. And when it ran out of that, it started taking away one hit of health for every move. And I was like chewing up all my consumables trying to stay alive. I'm like, I'm getting out of purgatory. So I run out and I died. Then I was eaten by a lack of fucks to give, unfortunately, after that part. Uh, I mean, it, it's a game. It exists. It's 490. Maybe if you're like looking for like a rage platformer to stream on, maybe give it a look. But, uh, you know, I might even consider giving this another shot. If they added some type of quick menu to this, might. Because if you're not watching the video version, you're constantly having to revisit the menu. Every time you pick something up, you go into your inventory, you got three options there. You got your, uh, what, like health, uh, armor, and uh, something else. Mana. Magic. Mm hmm. Yeah. So that's one click, two, possibly three more clicks in there, then another click for the item, then another click on top of that to use the item or drop the item or read the scroll. Then you move like once or twice, then you go through that again. Then you move once or twice, then you go through that again. It, it, it's uh, tiring. But, I mean, it's functional. So if you're looking for like a rage dungeon crawler, think like Super Meat Boy without the charm. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give it to Jordan. But don't listen to me. Listen to these two. They played a lot more um, dungeon crawlers than I ever have. Yeah. So I'm Fedora 3864 bit with the uh, 3764 bit. 38 just came out. I haven't upgraded yet. I'm a bad boy. Uh, with R930 900X and the GTX 1080 Ti. Launches out of the box. Hold 60 yet UHD, which is good because you don't get anything other, other than uh, full screen. It's a very basic tile set for roguelike. All the demons are like cartoony. It reminds me a little bit of like old Super Nintendo sprites. Just, just a little. There are definitely some beeps and boots. Controls are basic. A little overly basic. As Ven mentioned, casting spells is a lot of inventory futzing. When you get a new item, you can't just automatically equip it. You have to unequip the old item and then equip the new one, which is also annoying. Um, this, this was fine when we were in the DOS ages. But it sucks now. And you might be asking, Jordan, you were fairly positively, you p received positively uh, Rogue FP. Why Why are you less, uh, why are you more harsh on this than you are on that? And I'll say Rogue FP is an experiment. It's an experimental game where you're trying to change the perspective of an, exist of an existing game. Your goal is not to innovate. Your goal is to try and interpret a game that was previously through one lens through another lens. This is a net new game with a really poopy interface. And fun-wise, it's just super heavily luck-based, even for a low roguelike. You start off with an enemy in the room before you even get a basic weapon, so you gotta punch that shit to get to death, and by the end of that, you're at like 50% health, if you're lucky. Um, and like, and even then, after afterwards, you get you're so dependent on getting a few lucky spells and a ton of food to keep your health up because any skirmish you get into will take like a quarter to like three quarters of your health easily. Rogue started you off with thirty arrows and the ability to use them right off the bat. Uh, in this game, you get you can find arrows and no bow, or you can find a bow and no arrows, and you're screwed. And part of how you can mitigate the danger in this game is being able to selectively. Uh, you use a resource to target ranged enemies and then come after them for the last hit. This does not exist in this game. Um, as mentioned before, inventory management is super primitive. Uh, and it's not like casting the spells are super helpful. You can get a healing spell. You can get a banish spell. Um, and it's kind of, you. it's good for one room and then you go into the next room and you instantly die. I managed to get out of purgatory after I got teleported to the beginning of the level. I ran out of stamina. I made it to the next level, level two, and it's like, oh, there's three enemies in this room. We didn't give you any useful equipment, so, and you have like two health and no stamina. So I just died. <sighs> It, this this is just a hyper basic roguelike. Um, if if I describe to you the bare features of one, this is probably and you you just made that without thinking about it any further. This is probably what you would come up with, and this is this is mediocre. When like original rogue does it better, this is bad. It's bad news, man. It's 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 what we call in the business a regression. One chair. Yeah, yeah. Over here on the um on the desktop with the 5800X 3D and the RX 6700 XD, it launched out of the box. On the Steam Deck, it launched out of the box. Controller input only allows for movement, so you'll need to set up Steam input to use mouse and keyboard mode. To be fair, it specifically doesn't claim to be playable with a controller on the store page, so that's good. 
Uh, I didn't mind, didn't mind the uh, the background music loop. It's all right, but it does start to grate after a while, and the um, sound effects of when you're losing health because you've ran out of stamina that grates a hell of a lot more. Uh, the graphics are fairly bare bones, uh, and when the sprites aren't moving out of turn, clipping into each other, or simply not allowing your character to walk in a single direction without zigzagging, they're perfectly fine. Uh, <laughs> as for fun, I like roguelikes. I do. I'm also the one who tends to be the most lenient when the game is at least trying something new, and I can appreciate the effort. I can't appreciate Beelzebub, the, the game, not the mythical entity. The mythical entity is actually interesting and in just how many different ways it is portrayed even within the same theological lore. But we're here for the video game, unfortunately. As I mentioned on multiple occasions, um, uh, or as, as I mentioned on multiple occasions, the um, sprite of the main character will clip into the same space that the enemy is in. Sometimes two enemies will clip into the same space as one another and they'll be stuck, which is good because it means you don't have to fight them. Oh wait, the game doesn't let you progress to the next level until you've killed all the enemies. That, that seems like a dick move. And sometimes, even though this is supposed to be, you know, a roguelike and all the turn-basedness that it implies, uh, enemies will keep moving when you've stopped. You've been stopped for several seconds, and you can see the enemies wiggling around. This is buggy. It's very buggy. And I had to re-record the footage, uh, because the herky-jerkiness, and you've seen it already if you were uh, watching the video version, it messes with the way that OBS records the game. It messes with it so hard that it causes weird artifacting, some really nasty artifacting in the video. I never really actually read the entirety of the Geneva Conventions, but I'm pretty sure fucking a baroque like this much it, it is in breach of at least one of them. One chair. Yeah, it's not, it's not very good, is it? <laughs> no. Yeah. How'd, it's a simple concept. Come on. I mean, no. No. <laughs> like, I didn't under, I run into any visual glitches, but, you know, I'm team green, so we're not used to having to deal with that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I, the, I, I, the, I, the glitches I like weren't the... in the game itself. It was just in the video, like the, the herky jerkiness and the I, weird I, clipping of the inventory. I definitely got, like, the monsters humping each other, and then you can hump the monsters. I, I legit thought that this was, like, some sort of mechanism where, like, you could sneaky talk them or something because you did less damage. Like, ro like OG, uh, again, to bring up OG Rogue, there are, there are, like, tactics and stuff you can implement in the game. Like, hiding in doorways may means that the monsters are less likely to hit you. There's no such, like, mechanism here. So I, I don't know. I'm just, like, watching when it goes from lightning to stab. When it goes to that, I was just imagining him. He's, like, right. shitting blood. <laughs> it's, it's it's love he's just spread he's spreading the love everywhere mm -hmm. uh yeah you know what i mean it's it's four bucks i mean if you if you need something to like get angry at on screen and stream on twitch and you don't have problems capturing it maybe check it out but yeah uh, not working on the steam deck bold move cotton yeah bold. the, the the oh. I, I I also noticed that the controller lets you move but does not let you interact. Yeah, right. With I was like, well, well I can't really <laughs> use it, but I mean, it is there. It is the thing. Uh, I was talking to Jordan in the pre pre sewer shows and come back and listen to that if you're a patron. But would this work as a touch game, like mobile game? I don't think so. There is no? like there 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 is like actual lack of game design here that makes it like fundamentally like not good to play. Uh, mm -hmm. And like b based on what we're seeing, like this is what this if is I the... renamed it Dungeon Clicker? It'd still suck. <laughs> um, oh, okay. But this is <laughs> not but enough. This cookies. is this is this is the devs' first game. Um, I, I took a look at their community page. They're like, "Do you have any suggestions for feedback?" And the one thing they did add is, once you're in the menu, you can use M, A, and F to navigate between. Uh, between the the different like food armor whatever menus okay. and use and use the number keys to actually select it, but like not not super helpful, not super intuitive. They don't actually tell you this in the game. They're just like, yeah, use press the M button, press the A button. I press the A button, but it moved me because that's what it's supposed to do, right? Oh mm -hmm. no, it's in the menu. Ah, uh, see, I, you learn things. Also, why did you give rats lips? <laughs> to be, to better to kiss them, my dear. 
All right. (laughs) On on, on that high note, coming up next, we talk about how to make OBS work and more crazy controller nonsense. You've made it. It it is the end this time. Dangerous to go alone. (laughs) See ya. Bye. Yeah, no, uh, we're, we're just about out of here. The, just a couple of bits of hate mail that people have sent in this week. Thank you very I much. Wanna, I want that. I want that mod in the original Zod. Dangerous to go along. He just shrugs. Doesn't have anything. <laughs> yeah, Dangerous just, to doesn't, go along. Doesn't give you yeah, the sword. Just like exits. Yeah, there's like, nothing there, man. Is that okay? You turn around yeah. and flicks you off. Walks if out you of the room. Uh, would like us to not go alone, you can send some hate mail for ne- next week's show or... I don't know, you can specifically request that your hate mail only be read five weeks from when you send it. That's you can, that too is valid. Like that, but, <laughs> you know, feel free to. This this, this we, is some like pre taped interview forget. show from uh, Mr. Show <laughs> where like, no, I'm telling you the topic for next week, this week, so that when you call in We'll, we'll talk about it. Like, I don't get it. I'm, I'm here to talk about puppies. No, puppies was last week's topic. <laughs> But yeah, the best way to get in touch with us, you go to linuxgamecast.com, you hit the contact button, it's fairly easy to find, it's right there at the top, and there's a form you gotta fill at the bottom of the page with some caveats the at the top. The captioning system just picked you, what Pedro said is escapecast.com. Nice. If, if, if you're trapped and you need to escape, that's the podcast for you. <laughs> Solely focused on escape rooms that run if, on Linux. No, 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 if, if you are Snake Plissken... You need to listen to this podcast so you can escape from New York, from L.A., from wherever. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the alpaca. Uh, Biba? Biba wrote in? It's from Biba, yeah. Uh, Biba yeah. asks, I'm worried about the game Apex. I assume they're talking about Apex Legends. Because yeah. it's a track-heavy game, when one gyro takes the lead over the other at some point, this could ruin your aim because it could get jumpy. Now, Pedro, you got the alpaca. How do you think this is going to... It and doesn't it, work it, like it, that. The it two, uh, Legends is a free-to-play game, so... Yes. The two... Uh, the way that the two gyros work in the alpaca, and there, I that that's the one link that I put in the uh, the written review for the gyro section. Uh, they have, like, a document-sized post about how the two gyros work with each other. And the the way that they work Basically, they both send the input to the Raspberry Pi Pico, and then the firmware does what it needs to do, and when it goes out, it only sees as one kind of input. It doesn't send the two inputs out of the USB cable and back into the PC. It only sends one out, which is a combination of the read the readings of the two gyros. So does, does it does it average them? Does it like take the median or so, uh, I don't remember exactly how they're doing it, but they're doing a lot of really clever stuff, which I <laughs> goes over my brain because they're th- that's part of the reason why they're using the two uh, gyros at the two ends of the PCB is to avoid drift. And if one of the gyro starts reporting really weird values, they can take the values from the one that are that is more consistent and just use that. So it they're they've done a very good job with the gyro implementation. And mm. that won't be an issue. I, I mean we need to still like, playing um, Apex with a controller, but that won't be an issue. <laughs> yeah, you see, like we need the equivalent of like mothers against drunk driving for like people who play first person shooters with controllers. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. You, if you're going to play a first-person shooter with a controller, probably one with a gyro is the best option. I, I because mean, you will have that tracking. <laughs> I mean, if, if if you're playing with like appropriately, um, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to say disabled, but like appropriate, inappropriately, <laughs> inappropriately equipped people on consoles. You know, if you're queuing up with them, I think playing a first-person shooter with a controller is fine. Did you see like, like there's a been a cheating problem that they're? Gonna, I forget which game it was. Uh, what people are doing is uh, they're playing with the keyboard on mouse and controller only because they're using pass through, oh. and it's identifying as a controller. So they're getting in there with a the keyboard and mouse with. Uh, yeah, they, they sell the little modules only. that you can uh, use for the PS5 and the Xbox series. Uh, <laughs> and they're just wrecking the shit out of people. Yep. And yeah, that, that, that is hilarious. Like, so, some people, man, they just they just got to get a leg up somehow. They do, man. Any means fucking necessary. 
Uh, oh, yes. This comes from In, in Deathbed. This is a YouTube comment, but I want to get back to it here because it might be relevant because I know a lot of our audience uh, wants to stream, does stream, thought about streaming, streamed at some point in their lives. And uh, they write, that's wondering whether OBS on Linux is more like OBS on Windows or OBS on Mac, as in, comma, can't get it, wait, as in, can it record system sounds without tinkering like on Windows? I hate the way OBS handles system sounds on Mac. You got to do something complicated, like installing another app to be able to record systems or game sounds on a Mac. Okay. Stay the fuck away from Linux. <laughs> I'm not a Linux zealot. I'm your friend. I'm telling you the truth. Linux isn't for you, bro. This is not. We know it's not. Um... I don't know how it works on Windows. I don't know how it works on Mac, but I understand. I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, uh, I, tell me how OBS on Mac, how does it work? Uh, yeah, so he's, he's right. You do need to usually install like another tap if you want to like actually access the system sounds and not mess things up. Um, yeah, I, I would say it's probably... Um, it is effectively the same way that you do it on yeah. Windows. On yeah, Linux, more, you have more, more control. If yeah, you on, do... On, 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 yeah, um, yeah, the, the, on Linux, if you want to use Pavu Control or Katya or UPW Graph to manage the sound that way, you can, and you will have far more control over what sound uh, OBS is getting. But if you're just picking up the system sounds, that is very much the same way that it works on Windows. You just pick which device it's capturing from, and away we go. <laughs> Moral of the story, man. Uh... Linux is probably not going to be what you want. This probably is not. not. <laughs> no. no. Like, I mean, I, I don't have feel, feel free to give that. it a try. Yeah. Some, sometimes you got to learn for yourself. Um, you're not going to be walking into something that's going to be easier. I, I promise you it's going to be easier to do on a Mac or Windows. Like, uh, what do they have on uh, Windows? Like, voice meter, banana, for routing. I don't know what they have on Mac. I don't, is, is, is it, I, I, like, I, I don't know if you're joking or if it's actually called that. I, I yeah. genuinely don't. Voice speeder, but not. <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. They have some weird fucked up names for Windows software sometimes. And yeah, we're sitting here yeah. using the GIMP. I mean, yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, Windows yeah. users with their weird ass name. I, listen, software in general has weird ass names. I'm just saying, like, you, you, you never know. Ladies and gentlemen, on that weird ass name. We're going to cue the music. You can always catch us live on Twitch at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, twitch.tv forward slash Linux Gamecast. There's a schedule button. I'm not going to tell you what happens. When you click on it, you might be surprised. If you want to find me, I will be back tomorrow editing this pile of nonsense uh, live somewhere between 11.30 and 1.30 and fate decides to like cut me some slack. So if you want to come in, do a little AMA, ask me some questions about multimedia content creation and production under Linux, I'll be available uh, let's see, that's about it. At Vinstone on Twitter, or just at Vin on our federated timeline, mast.linuxgamecast.com. I'm Jordan. You don't need to install a tap in me to hear what I have to say, although it is fun if you do it anyways. Follow me on Twitter at the Burning Fool or on Mastodon at Brojo at mast.linuxgamecast.com. It's a long one, those Mastodon URLs, man. And if you two were disappointed at the lack of a uh, tap that ass joke, uh, <laughs> uh, you can Nobody, follow me on Twitter Pedro, at unaccounted four. Uh, that's F O U R, or on uh, Mastodon. That's unaccounted four with the actual number four at the end. Uh, AthleticsGameCast.com. Wrong button. Here's some credits. <laughs> the two canes. <laughs> yeah, two canes. Same. <laughs> Flying through space. Aimless, hopefully, will collide with the sun. It's going faster, but we got to thank our executive producers, or our, we got to thank our advisors first. We got to thank Omega advisor producers. and our Theron, mm -hmm. and then we got to thank our executive producers. Ah. Uh, they are Bob Ramp, Scott Machado, Atomic Gas, Mike G, Mike T, uh, oh, no, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, uh, Pebble, Tomas, Hakim, David, and Ishep, and our Chicago Kicks here, Super Desto, Empty, there he is, Glorious Eggroll, and yeah. Blast Rumor. Sea Monsters, Ronald Ryder, X Machina, Truggy, Yogi Wan, DSN, Joe, System T, Vertinuda, Justin, Krylo, Fute, and Nub. And the Death Notes, Nova K, Vassal, Chad, uh, Romeo Morrison, Renee, Leonardo DeCresny, Kim, Chris, Stephen Jill, there they are, Benjamin, Doom2.Watt, Stephen, 
uh, Dirty Dean, Back, <laughs> Game Matron, Dodgers, Atheris Gaming, Rue, Turnover, M Fox, Dogs, Vine, Oil of Hope, Jalu, Piper, and the aromatic Dev. Underscore Dev. <laughs> I want to thank everybody uh, supporting us on the Cheerlings level. There's a lot yeah. of you. You're awesome. Oh, nice. awesome. Oil of Hope, Jim. Yeah, go. Yeah. V-Spec 12, Replay Gaming, PT. And everybody behind me on this <laughs> wall of fine upstanding cannibals. Carl, Mike, Arthur, and Lennox. Oh, there's Rolls, Ishep. Noctilus, John Ishep, Gametron, and Unoid, DS, and Joe, and Aromatic underscore. Dab. Whoop, whoop. Uh, yeah. Good job, Zuckerberg. <laughs> Stay away from the uh, armored alpacas. They're a bit bitey. And... Uh, <laughs> Combat what, what, what was that? Combat. Uh, <laughs> I typed in war alpaca. Thank you. Is, is that much. the is that the sequel to like llamas and hats, lava, llamas and armor, and followed and by uh, after our eleven p.m. llamas and heat. Dynify everyone. <laughs> we'll see you next L- week. Llamas after dark. Five dudes.